to my channel so today i'm going to be giving y'all another story time i know i know i know i know it seems like y'all are really enjoying the story time so maybe i just need to go ahead and do like a series for certain time periods in my life drop down below in the comments and let me know if that's something that you guys would like so if you can tell by the title <laughs> this one was another wild one. This is about the time my friend spit. I know, disgusting. She spit in this guy's face. Yeah. Let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, so for the sake of the story, we are going to name this friend... We gonna name her as messy because that's what she was a messy ass bitch so and y'all i'm coming like as soon as i started thinking about what happened i just got upset all over again because she put us in such a bad situation because one she was drunk and two she couldn't control her emotions but let's just get into it because i'm not gonna make this a long one so boom me and messy we met at a job i had just um came out of like a training class and so this was like my first time actually working doing the job um she was new at the job as well and we kind of clicked because we both we kind of had like the same no nonsense attitude like we weren't gonna let co-workers or like the customers talk to us crazy like we wasn't we wasn't going for none of it and we kind of both picked up on that and plus we were both we were probably one of the few like black girls at the job so me and her we clicked we start hanging out talking at work just kiki king in well you you know how we do when we meet a buddy in the job and i will say she is part of the reason why i don't like making friends with these bitches at these jobs like she's part of the reason why so we hang out um we're having a good time we kiki king at work Mind you, this relationship, it develops over like months. And so we have like a lot that we, um, there's a lot that me and her have in common. Um, she has a young daughter. Um, at the time, I think she was in school. Um, we, we just had a lot of stuff in common. So we decided that, hey, let's like hang out outside of work. She wanted to hang out outside the work. I said, okay, cool. She seemed like a very nice girl. She seemed like she was on, we were on the same wavelength and that we would get along outside of work. So, like a fool, I hang out with this girl. Um, we would go to eat like dinner, like just, I don't know, just regular like stuff. Um, and she was, she started wanting to hang out a lot more often. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Like she's not from around this area. She's new here. She really just wants to get out. She was going through like a lot of issues with her baby daddy and she just wanted to be outside. So I said, okay, girl, I got you. Like you going through a lot. That's what friends do. I'm gonna be here for you. We gonna we gonna be cool. So one day she we're at work, and she says that she wants to go to a bar. Now, around this time, she had went on a trip with like four other girls from the job. They were all white girls, and she was the only black one on the trip. I think they went to like Florida. I think they went to Florida. Yeah, I think they drove to Florida. And let me tell you, this girl bitched and hollered and complained about the whole entire trip, about how they were just so horrible. They were this, they were that, yeah, 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 yeah. All this stuff, complaining about the girls. Like, when, when they came back to work, they weren't even friends anymore. She wasn't even friends with the girls anymore because of just a bunch of stuff that she said happened on the trip. So, you know, this is my girl. I get along with her more than I get along with the other girls. I don't, I know the girls, but I don't really, I don't mess with them like that. Like they're not my cup of tea. So of course this is my friend. I'm not choosing sides, but if my friend is telling me this, 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 and happened, it's like, oh dang, like that's crazy. Like it, it should have been a red flag to me that this girl had so much complaints about these girls when before they went on the trip, they was BFFs. So that should have been a red flag to me, but trying to be nice trying to be friendly and yeah so fast forward um she says that she wants to go out to a bar I said okay 
like we can go to a bar like what like what kind of vibe are you looking for like you want a party party like you want a chill spot or whatever the case may be she said no she want to go to something that's she want to go to a hood spot pretty much <laughs> so there's a place um where a lot of <laughs> a lot of the hood guys go to and I felt like she would like it. She'll probably find somebody in there that she likes or whatever the case may be. I thought that she would enjoy it because that's the type of like vibe, that's the type of time she was on. So I said, okay, I'm going to take her and see, like, just let her have a good time, see how she likes it. So we go. We meet up at my mom's house. We go to the place. We get there. Everything's fine. We're having a good time. We're having drinks, taking shots at the bar. Like everything is good. It's a good time. Now this ain't no like club club. It's like a, it's a bar. It has a dance floor and stuff like that. But it's like a, it's a, it's a chill spot. It's more so like a, I don't even know what I would call it. But anyways, it has like a huge bar. It has like a dance floor. But on like part of the dance floor, there's pool tables where you can play games, stuff like that. Then the DJ booth, whatever. It's not like a real big place at all. It's like a little hole in the wall, a little rinky dink. But all the hoods go there. Like the hood with money go there. So <laughs> I'm trying to put her on. So we go there. We're having a good time. I told you we're taking shots. She buying around. I'm buying around. We're having a good time. Next thing I know... In walks in a ex-boyfriend of mine. Now, me and this ex-boyfriend, we had a very off and on relationship. Like, we just used to play with each other. Like, we <laughs> that's one thing I would say about me. And you guys, as I, like, continue to do these story times, that's one thing that y'all will see is I play a lot. Well, I used to play a lot. When I was younger, whew, I used to play a lot. I was very toxic and the things that like these men would do, I would be doing the exact same, like playing right along with them. Like you're not going to have me in the house crying, looking sad, but I digress. <laughs> so he walks in, he sees me, we see each other and instantly I'm ready to go because I don't feel like playing with him. Like me and him, I think we were on the outs at this point. We weren't talking to each other. So I didn't feel like playing with him. I didn't even want to be in that type of environment. I didn't want that type of vibe. I just wanted to have a good time. So he sees me. He starts talking in my ear. Who's your friend? Yada, 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 whatever. Buys us shots. He's continuous to buy a shot. Continue. Then eventually he just sits like a, a, a I think he, like a $50 bill. He sits like a $50 bill on a bar for us to just keep drinking, keep drinking. So we're drinking on his head. We're having a good time. Everything's going fine. This girl's getting tore up. When I say she's getting tore up, she could not hold her alcohol at all. She couldn't hold her alcohol at all. And she just started being like belligerent a little bit. And it's like, I knew I shouldn't have brought her here. Like, I should have just left her. I should, I should have never even brought her here. So now she's getting belligerent. And mind you, I told you that my ex-boyfriend is here. So he's there with um, some girl that I guess he was dating at the time. He was dealing with or whatever. You remember, I told you, toxic. He's doing all of this. The girl is there. She don't care. So she, he's there with the girl. My friend knows he's there with this girl. I'm being respectful because that's, that's not my dude. He's like, me and him are not together. So if he's in a relationship with somebody else, I'm going to respect that. She's not trying to hear none of that. <laughs> she wants more drinks. So she goes, she gets up from where we're sitting, goes to where he is, and demands that he buys us more drinks. She's drunk. So I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. So he's looking at her like she's crazy. And eventually she comes back and sits down and I just put my head down and I'm like, okay, I'm like giving her water now so she can sober up so we can leave. Now at this particular time, this was years ago, I don't remember what time the bar closed, but it wasn't like late at all. It had to be maybe like two, maybe three in the morning. It wasn't late at all, but that's where the place where we were, everything closed down at the same time. So we end up um, leaving. And while we're leaving, 
a guy comes up behind me and starts talking to me um <laughs> basically flirting and doing us I wasn't interested in him I wasn't feeling him I didn't want anything to do with him now mind you this guy we had seen him earlier and he was flirting as well I wasn't interested but my friend was interested in him but he wasn't ca he wasn't catching on he wasn't catching the hint he wasn't catching the vibes and she wasn't catching the vibe that sis he don't like you he's trying to shoot his shot with me and he's buying us drinks i'm accepting them because you want to like i'm accepting them for us i'm not even drinking that much like i would get like a drink and i would give it to her like somebody buy me a drink i give it to her or like if somebody bought me a drink, I'll take it and pass it to somebody else. Like some, cause I wasn't drinking them. I wasn't drinking like that, but she's swallowing the drinks. Like this is like the last drink she's ever going to have in life. So the guy he's flirting, he's talking, whatever, whatever. She's still trying to shoot her shot, not catching up on the hint. So we're leaving out of the bar and the guy he's walking behind us, but he's still talking. He rapping. He want to talk. He want to talk bad. I'm not really responding. I pretty much told him like, yeah, I'm in a relationship. I have a boyfriend to kind of get him to like cool off, but he wasn't really catching the hint. He was drunk. Everybody, everybody there was drunk. So I'm trying to get him to cool off, like leave the situation alone, just be done. It's just not going well. So my friend is getting frustrated because she doesn't understand why he's paying all this attention to me. And she's the one that's trying to talk to him. So she's getting frustrated. Mind you, she's drunk. So they get, she's like saying slick stuff to him. He starts saying slick stuff to her. They start going back and forth. The guy follows us to the car and he's talking. He's still trying to talk. And he leans into the window and he's still talking. So he's like talking shit to her, but he's talking to me as well. And I'm just trying to like diffuse the situation. Oh, Kiki, ki, ki, yeah, we got, we got to go, da, 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 whatever. Trying to like just diffuse it so it won't be no mess. This guy, <laughs> he was a troublemaker. And he like, he knew she was bothered and he just wanted to, he just, he just wanted to, he just wanted to get it going, to be honest. He wanted to make it more than what it was. So he tells this girl, you are a B-I-T-C-H. I like your friend. I don't like you. I don't want you. I want her. <laughs> I don't know why he told that girl that. She got so mad. Now, mind you, she's sitting in the passenger seat. I'm sitting in the driver's seat. The guy is at the passenger side window talking to me through her side. She reaches out of the window and all I see is doo, doo, doo. <laughs> she starts hitting him. She puts her hands on him because he said that, which I'm not going to lie. He called her out of her name. He was being disrespectful. Okay, I get that. Next thing I know, he just starts saying like all type, like he just starts saying all types of stuff. All of it was disrespectful. Just calling her out her name, cussing her out, just saying all type of stuff. Like, that's why your friend is pretty, you're ugly. And so I'm like trying to put the car in like drive, but because every the place closed at a certain time, everybody's trying to leave. And there's police outside that are doing like random pull. Like as soon as, if you get, okay. So they're looking at everyone getting their cars. If you seem like you hobbling or you're not really into it, they're pulling you over. They're telling you to get over to, they're telling you to get over to the side so they can pull you over. So I'm like, dang, I done had like some drinks. I'm not, I'm not stumbling. I can still drive, but I don't want to take the chance that they're going to pull me over. So I'm like, dang, I want to sit here and drink some water, but they acting like, oh, they're acting a fool. And I don't want either him or her to get arrested because they're both intoxicated. And tomorrow they may not even remember any of this. So I want to leave. Can't go anywhere because all the cars are trying to get out. It's just a mess. So I'm trying to tell her, like, just stop talking to him. Like, let's roll up the window. And I'm telling him to get away from the car. Like, just leave. Just get away from the car and leave her alone. And, like, you have a great night. Whatever. This girl, she got the spit from the back of her throat. Like, the that. When you wake up in the morning, like, the smoker, the smoker cough, who they have that nasty cough and they get all that stuff from the back. 
She got that spit and took it and spit in that boy's face. Hmm. You can't make this shit up. She spit in this guy's face. I just gotta go. Once she spits in his face, he's all right. <laughs> He's all right. And I say, you know what? I'm not going to sit up here and have y'all be going back and forth and this, that, and the third. And then this boy puts his hands on you or anything like that because you did something so disgusting all because you were intoxicated and you, you couldn't handle your feelings. But at the end of the day, this is my girl. This is my friend. I came with her. We're like, I'm with my friend 100%. But I wasn't going to be outside like fighting and doing all of that. So I'm like, let's just go. So we leave. And she was mad the whole way home. Like, it took us like 20 minutes to get, like 20, yeah, like 25 minutes to get home. She was mad the whole way, just talking about him, this, that, and the third. And I was just trying to defuse the situation, trying to calm her down. Like, girl, yeah, it ain't even all of that. Like, F him. He was ugly anyway. Like, this, that, and the third. Just trying to, like, trying to put her in a better, better spirit about the whole situation. So she's mad. So I'm like, we finally get home. She done sobered up a little bit. She had done fell asleep and everything and drinking water. She said she was good to drive home. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, do you want me to trail you back to like partway there or like what? And she was like, she was sober. She had sobered up by this point. She said she was good. So I was like, yeah, just text me when you get home. Everything's cool. No argument, no nothing. Now, let me tell you why I should have listened to that red flag earlier. Because let me tell you what she did, what Messy did. This girl. So the same way how she went on that trip to Florida and all that stuff happened and she came back and told me, she did the same thing with me. There was another girl at the job that she was cool with. Now, mind you, she 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 thumbing through friends at this point because all the people that she gets cool with, something will happen. She blames it on them and then she's on to the next friend. So basically what this girl did, there's some other people that she was cool with at the job. She pretty much told them what happened. And basically she said that she was upset because she felt like I wasn't being a good friend because I wasn't arguing with the guy and I wasn't saying stuff back and I just let him talk to her crazy. <laughs> First of all, y'all both were drunk. Y'all were saying stuff to each other. Number two. Number three, you initiated the argument with him. The guy was just trying to talk to me. He just wanted my phone number. That's it. He wasn't saying anything disrespectful to her. She started being disrespectful to him. So in my head, I'm just like, so basically, you can be disrespectful to people and you want me to kind of step in and join in like with your nonsense fuck no i'm not do like why why would i you started it you finish it so she had told one of her other friends that word got back to me and i'm like all right cool like whatever so from that point on i didn't think that we had an issue but once i heard that i had noticed like okay yeah she hasn't been like texting me as much she's like trying to i guess wean herself away from me and like this is this is herself away from me um next thing i know we followed each other on social media. Next thing I know, I get on social media one day and I'm like, dang, I usually see her stuff on here all the time. This girl had done blocked me on everything. And it was just so weird to me because it's like, we see each other every day at work. You block me. Now you act like I don't exist. And it's like all because you wanted me to argue with this guy because you were drunk, you couldn't handle your liquor. You were being disrespectful. And you felt played, but never once did you mention that you spit in this guy's face. And it was unprovoked. You spit in his face for no reason. All he called you was a B-I-T-T-H. But you were already arguing with him at that point. So long story short, the girl, she blocked me on everything. I wasn't tripping. Um, shortly after, like, me and her stopped being friends, she only had, like, one friend at the job after that. And I would say within, like, a month or two of all of this happening with her, she quit the job. She quit the job and lost contact with everybody at the job and like moved on. And yeah, I never heard from her again. So yeah, this is the story about how my friend spit in this guy's face. I'm just glad that the situation didn't escalate even further and we didn't actually start fighting and 
yeah so be mindful of who you guys are friends with be mindful of like your friends when they like just everybody just know their limits and don't let nobody ever like make you feel like you gotta be in a certain situation because they on like if you're not on that you're not with that then stand on it don't let nobody force you into a situation that you don't want to be in so yeah that is the story time where my friends spit in someone's face i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below and tell me do you guys want more story times like what other kind of videos would you guys like to see for me so i'm gonna go ahead and head out i hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time bye